Okay, in this example, um, I'm just looking at two buttons and I'm gonna try to figure out how, when I typically read it in with digital, how I'm gonna do that. If I'm running out of digital pins, can I use the analog pins to read it in as well? So right now, um, if my left button is pressed, the LED turns on, if I start my simulation, but the code shows that if the button is low or pressed, then I'm gonna turn the LED pin on. If my right button is pressed, then I should turn the LED low. So if I press this button, my LED turns on. If I press this button, my LED slowly, for some reason, uh, turns off. So again, if I press this button, it turns on. If I press this button, it turns off. And again, it, on the simulator, it slowly turns off. Um, the key thing here is that I'm reading in with digital, but what I want to do now is figure out if I'm running out of digital pins in a bigger project, how I can use analog pins to achieve the same result. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to use set of digital pin two for this button. I'm gonna read that in on analog pin two. And instead of digital pin three here, I'm gonna read this button in on analog three. So again, the only thing I've changed is my two input wires. Uh, I'm swapping it so that I'm using the analog pin two and three rather than digital pin two and three. So technically speaking, I can leave this the same because I'm still hooking up my left button to pin two, analog two. Um, analog two can be typed either as A2 or just the number two, either of those will work. Same thing for three. I always put A3 or A2 in the pin numbers as that means that I'm able to uh, remember that they need to plug them into the analog input side. Um, now for the pin modes, these are not needed now because when I'm reading in on analog side, I don't need to set pin modes. It's only pins two through 13 that I need to either set as input or output because these ones up here are capable of both input and output. Whereas down here in my analog pins, they can only read in, so I don't need to set pin modes for those buttons uh, anymore. Um, the only thing that I change here now is if digital read, I'm gonna change that to if analog read equals something, um, and then else if, if analog read is something. Now, in order to test this first and see what's actually going to happen, I want to just, to the serial monitor, output the value that I'm getting when I press the button or when I don't press the button. So what I'll need to do is set up my uh, serial mode. Show that begin. And then inside here, I want to just print the value that I'm reading in from one of the buttons just to see what that value is so that I can adjust my if statement as needed. So I'm gonna read the value that I'm getting from analog read left button pin. So I'm just gonna print that. Um, if I do print ln, it'll print each read on its own line. So again, I'm just gonna wire in and, and test the left button to start. So um, I'm gonna start my simulation. I'm gonna open up the serial monitor. You can see that right now when it's not being pressed, the value is 1,023. When I press that button, there might be a slight delay. You can see that the zero become, or the 123, 10, 1,023 becomes zero. And when I release it again on the Tinkercad simulator, the serial monitor is delayed quite a bit. You can see that once I've released it, it goes back to 1,023. So technically, when the button is pressed, it goes down to zero volts. So that's why it produces zero. So I can actually use zero in these examples. Um, sometimes in the digital examples, you will see low here. 
um, and then you would have to actually switch that from low to zero um, because I can say low in that comparison for digital, but for analog, we know that that value is going to become zero um, when the button is pressed. So now when I start my simulation again, using analog reads, I can press the button. And again, there is a slight delay, but you'll see that the LED is now turned on. If I, I'm not printing to the serial monitor the other uh, button value, but you can see I got a zero for a second. And so that's why when my LED turned on. Um, and then similarly, when I press my other button, again, there might be a slight delay, but you can see that slowly that LED turns off. And again, that's just in our simulator. One more time, press this button. You can see the LED turns on. Press this button, the LED turns off. So you can see that I'm using A2 and A3. And then all I had to do now is read in. And again, this line of code isn't needed. That was just me showing you what the values are. So I could comment that out or delete that line as I don't need those serial prints. Run it again. LED is off. I press the left button, the LED turns on. I press the right button, the LED turns off again. turns on and turns off. And I know on the simulator, it's a little bit hard to tell, but there is a slight delay, but it will turn on and off as I press those buttons. So again, I'm getting the same results using analog read as I would using digital read. So that'll free up a couple pins on your Arduino on the digital side.